Hey, what's up? Hey. So, so what's going on? What we made it. Doing? So yeah, we drove for a while and now we're here. So I just want to say hi to my mom <laughs> and, uh, so and my dog. We're going to recap that. So we drove for a while and now we're here. Um, where are we? We don't know. We don't know exactly. <laughs> it's pretty bright. But uh, yeah, so Toward we here. are here. <laughs> we are at the, the foot of the Mount Madison Trail. Going to go up it tomorrow and do 20 plus miles of the Presidential Traverse. It's about 8,000 vert. Uh, hoping for clear weather. We're going to sleep in the car tonight and probably get up at 3 a.m. and start. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we are out here. I'm with my buddy Al. Hey guys. Busy. <laughs> um, What's up? We are going to try to send the Presidential Traverse tomorrow, uh, hoping for clear skies. It's about a 20 mile hike, 8,000 vert or so, which is going to be one of the biggest hikes I've ever done. So, going to get started at like 3 a.m. Hope to get up there for sunrise and just fucking crush it. So, we'll see. Yeah. So, we woke up at like 2.45. I slept all right. It wasn't too cold in the car. Alex. Yeah, there was lots of trucks going by, so it was, <laughs> it was kind of rough sleeping, but still up at 2.45, you know. We're on the trail, um, feeling really good, slowly making our way, trying to stay loud to uh, avoid bears. I don't know if it's actually doing anything. It's really dark. It's really dark. Apparently without the sun, it's just really dark in the woods. Yeah, which is weird. Who would have thought that? So mm. on we go. We had espressos. We're feeling awake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hayden said he's going to shit soon. <laughs> I'm going to shit soon. I'm going to shit on top of the mountain. It's going to mm. be great. All right. We'll see you Damn. later. Bye. We've made it to the close to the top. This is every mountain in the White Mountains has a sign like this. It says some of the worst weather, the Alpine zone. It's definitely a little gnarly up here. How are you feeling, bud? Yeah, we're tired. It's tough, yeah. tough hike. Lots of rocks, <laughs> scrambling. Yeah, we, uh, we're doing it. We took the wrong trail. We took a different trail and uh, it's just been straight up. It's kind of tough to show you guys, but it's kicking our fucking ass. So we're running about 20 minutes late, but uh, yeah, we got this. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving. Uh, we're at the top of the first peak on Madison. Honestly, it was fucking so difficult. Kicked our ass. Yeah. We are uh, socked in a cloud right now. Um, can't see fucking anything. There's freaking frost on this side. Uh, it's definitely really cold, but uh, hoping the hardest part's over. One down, ten to go. Yeah, thank God for the Cairns. Yeah, seriously, yeah. honestly, Cairns. Whoever set those Cairns up, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love, we love the Cairns. Yeah. 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 On to the next one. You gotta go. You gotta go. We got 49 minutes of foot footage. Okay. Woo! <laughs> What's up, baby? We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you look really fucking cool, dude, in this light. <laughs> it looks sick. So Madison's right there. Came all the way up. Up this boulder field. There's Al. Scrambling up. We're going up there to Adams. And then over the ridge line. And then on to Jefferson Clay, Washington. And we're halfway. He says hi. Just ignore him, he's weird. Oh, so I like rocks a lot. Especially these ones. These ones are great. Yeah. <laughs> Be up there in a minute. <laughs> Going for number two. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Only nine more after that. So kind to me. <laughs> what I would do without you, I don't know. It's so frosty. Oh, whoa, sorry you had to see that, folks. Yeah, hey, it's woo woo. Phew! <laughs> <That's> good, peeps. <laughs> Whoever's watching this. Can you take the difficult route here? Oh, shit, he's crazy, folks. Damn, dude. Just crazy enough. Just crazy. That it might work. <laughs> Peak number two on top of Adams. 
definitely a lot more difficult of a hike than we thought but uh once the sun's come up and it's uh blown off some of this uh clouds it's really really beautiful up here sun's out two peaks down got a whole shitload more to go but we're feeling pretty good going for the three peak going for the three peak peat three peak peat. three peak there's the sign so covered in frost all right we're up here it's beautiful up here beautiful tough to get up here but gorgeous gorgeous on to jefferson which is into that clouds right there we've just come down from adams and i'll show you real quick there's jefferson there's clay in the middle that big boy right there is washington and then after that we just traverse on down and it shouldn't be too bad but uh definitely have a ways to go just to get to jefferson and then from there build a big uphill climb and how are we feeling who are you talking to yeah just talking to nobody out here so what I like to do, I come up to the mountains and I talk to myself, so. Alright, we're on our no, way. No, you don't need to talk, you just hike. Uh, <laughs> now, the cue when I say go for it is just walk. Alright. <laughs> you can talk if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't have to. Alright. <laughs> on our way up to number you three, <laughs> Number three it is. <laughs> I'm trying to not let Alex talk in this vlog as much as possible, but he keeps just chiming in. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, I know, I can hear you, <laughs> by the way, so. Lots of water, folks, so uh, bring your uh, your boots. It's tough to see, but there's a lot of colors. Nice little cloud inversion. Coming up on Jefferson right here. Washington right there, the big scary cloud over it. Then we go down the backside. And on and on. Here's Alvaz. We're getting excited for chicken nuggets. Really hope there are chicken nuggets on top of Washington because if they're not, we're gonna be super pissed because all we've been thinking about is chicken nuggets. All we've been talking about is chicken nuggets. Hopefully there's at least coffee because well, I really need some coffee for the last 10 miles. So we'll see. Oh, you're ripping it, bro. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> Do they? Nah. Nah, that's what nah, I like to hear. Fine. Nah, they're fine. Oh, beautiful. Uh, made it to peak three, Jefferson. About a third of the way done. So I got a little peanut butter in my mouth. It's definitely harder than I thought it was gonna be just because it's so steep. It's just like stair stepper the whole way, just up and down and up and down. And it's a lot. I'm really glad I have poles, a lot of food. I definitely brought more water than I needed because there's fill up stations at the Madison Hut. There's fill up stations on top of Washington and I think there'll be fill up stations after. So I wouldn't bring more than a liter and a half to two liters max um, just because that, that water weight, it really makes it difficult. Um, I would bring a lot of food because you're just burning so many calories you really need to eat. But yeah, third away done, seven miles in. 13 miles to go. Washington's right there, about three miles away. Um, not too bad. Yeah, we're feeling good. Feeling uh, definitely wiped and our legs are sore, but uh, yeah, gonna just keep crushing on and hopefully get some good food on top of Washington. Seems like there's some gnarly clouds coming in. Gonna keep an eye on that. Um, but until then, it's beautiful out. Gonna put the sunblock on and uh, take a little break until Alex catches up. So we have some pretty crazy clouds coming in. It's not ideal for what we're trying to do. So we're gonna go to Clay, which is this one little hump to the right, and uh, assess from there. We have an exit route right behind Clay, which is Monroe. There's a little hut there, and there's a trail down to the right. Um, there's a road down there we can get back to our cars, but uh, we're gonna keep going and assess because we have to go that way anyways. But when you're up here, these types of clouds moving in like this, not good, not what you want. Bring in precipitation, snow, cold, hail, crazy wind. So uh, definitely always have your exit routes and uh, we know ours and hoping for the best. Hopefully we can still make it up Washington, but we are planning to have an exit route just in case. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no shortcuts on this hike. So I made it to the top of clay. Alex is cutting out clay in Washington because his knee's really hurting him, his whole legs, I think. So it's just me for this part. I'm feeling pretty good still, but this last little bit of vert yeah, up clay and we're now Washington is really kicking my ass. Still feel good, gonna finish fine, but uh, yeah, it's definitely difficult. I don't think clay is considered a mountain technically because it doesn't have a large enough precipice between the summit and Mount Washington summit. So I think it's technically part of Washington, but it's definitely still a bitch to get up. So I'm up and over that now, gonna hopefully make a quick scramble to Washington. The clouds look like they're holding off, which is fantastic. And after Washington, it's really pretty mellow, I think the rest of the way, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, almost halfway done, and hopefully a nice mellow 10 miles to finish it out and 
Hopefully they sell chicken nuggets at the top because I could really use some. Let's see. There's the train going. Cog Railway, super famous. I'll take that to the top, but I prefer to hike. Super cool seeing this thing go through the fog though. It's looking really ominous. It's beautiful. Can't even see the train because the clouds. It's crazy. The weather up here is so intense. 30 minutes ago it was sunny. Now you can't see anything. Hoping this train pops up, you guys will see, but it's not looking good. And here it comes. There it is. Flying. Fog railway. One mile to Mount Washington. Into the thick clouds. Let's get it done. This is what I've done so far. It's done Madison, Adams, Jefferson, Clay. Last one's Washington. Can't see it because it's in the clouds. And then, uh, then we're halfway done. And then, yeah, fucking dying. This is, uh, it's a lot. I'm trying to go a little faster than I probably should be going because of the clouds and uh, because Alex decided to bail a little early. Um, so trying to, trying to crank it up this and uh, it's a lot. So super fun, really beautiful, but it's a big workout, big day. I'm not gonna get my arm. So fortunately, I didn't stop very long at the top of Washington. There's crowds of people up there because they take the Cog Railway or they drive up. They also didn't have chicken nuggets, which was a huge bummer, but it wouldn't have mattered because there was 50 person line. So I'm not waiting in that when there's clouds and coming in and it's starting to snow. So I'm sorry I don't have any footage of the top. It's really just super kind of demoralizing to do all this hiking and then get to the top and see a bunch of people that just took the car up. Um, I totally understand why and nothing against it at all. It's just uh, doesn't feel like a real mountain summit to me. Um, so I'm just moving on, hoping to meet up with Alex at the Lake of the Clouds hut and uh, hoping there's water refill down there because I'm pretty much out of water and I didn't feel like waiting around to fill it up in the huge lines. So um, if you do do this hike, just be prepared when you get to Washington. It's not as uh, satisfying as the other peaks because there are loads of people there. But the rest of the hike should be pretty mellow. 10 miles to go, not too much vertical. I think most of the, uh, the difficult part is done and behind me. Um, it's just about maintaining and hoping my legs don't give out on me. So I'll give you an update when I get down to Lake of the Clouds and uh, on to Monroe. Almost down off of Mount Washington Summit for the Lake of the Clouds. Alex just texted me and said that he's actually going for the Washington Summit and that he made the summit. So pretty freaking awesome. I think he um, just missed out on clay, which is kind of a bummer but he's gonna get pretty close to doing the whole traverse, which is freaking amazing. So he's like 15 minutes behind me, gonna meet him at Lake of the Clouds, gonna get some, uh, get the Skittles out and the peanut butter sandwich and some Heath bars and just chow the fuck down. Beautiful Lake of the Clouds hut. That marks, I think like 11 or 12 miles. Um, so about eight more. And you can see this cloud that I'm in right down there. Actually, not cloudy, it's super sunny and beautiful. And you can't see Washington. So within the span of an hour or less, this went from all being sunny to being socked in like this. And I've mentioned it before, but it's definitely just something to think of. I also would say that I do recommend starting off with Madison because this is a personal thing, but I prefer to go up than to go down because I have relatively bad knees. Um, so I don't mind doing 4,000 vert in four miles, even though that's was really difficult and was such an ass kicker. I have all the hard parts done with now. It's just the easy, um, for the most part, pretty mellow stuff to go. And um, I would rather not, after doing this whole 20 miles and all that vert, I would rather not go down 4,000 feet of Madison. Um, I think it's super steep and that's just a lot of impact to put on my knees and I just wouldn't enjoy that. But it's something to note that, um, you know, if you don't want to start by going 4,000 vertical feet up in less than four miles, then don't start with Madison. Start with the Mellor side, work your way over to the really difficult part. I, on the other hand, am really glad I started with the hard section because now, though my legs are hurting a lot, it's really just not too bad for the remainder. And uh, yeah, the end's in sight. 
just gonna say that um, I use these liquid IV packets on every one of my huge days. Um, it's just really good electrolytes and I can feel, feel myself super depleted of all those necessary electrolytes. This isn't a sponsor or anything for these guys, but if you're someone that likes to take electrolytes, whether it's noon or liquid IV or something else, I have a 25% off code for these that I'll put them in the uh, bottom of this video. Use them if you want, don't use them, I don't care. Just putting it out there because 25% off is pretty good and these things, I freaking love them. Um, so yeah, just adding that. Hey, Vizzy. Summited Washington. Don't know how, but I did it. It's in the books. It's in the books. So we made it to peak number six, Monroe. It's pretty easy from uh, Lake of Clouds Hut. I'm not sure if we have three or five or how many mountains left, but uh, I think it's only like seven or eight miles. So most of it is downhill. So yeah, hopefully this weather clears up a little bit because can't see shit. <sighs> yeah, just... Think about those burgers and beers coming up. Five miles left, baby. 15 miles in. Beautiful views from up here, guys. It's just stunning. Look at the fall foliage. Mount Washington. Last minute decision. Some adrenaline kicked in. And uh, I saw the peak and just went for it. Made it up there, got some pizza, some water. And then uh, came there. back down to meet Hades. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna do it. Made it up there. Feels great. Sick. We got four more peaks left. Most of them are pretty downhill. I think the last one's gonna be tough as Eisenhower. And uh, yeah, then we're fucking in the clear. So we made it to peak number something, maybe eight. This is Franklin. This is Franklin, we think Franklin. Next is Eisenhower, then something else and something else, and yeah, who knows. But it's going good. Foliage is looking sick. I don't know if it's too far away for you guys to see, but all those little trees down there are sweet. And it looks like it's blue skies everywhere except where we are, which sucks, but c'est la vie. Our last peak. I think. I think it might be one after that, but this is the last real big one, Eisenhower. Hopefully these clouds are leaving us. And then it should be pretty chill on the way down. I think we've been going at this for about 10 hours so far with a lot of breaks. So it's probably gonna take us 12 total hours, but I'll do a little recap at the end. So, uh, trying to finish strong. Not too much further to go. Peak number nine. Number nine was tough so far. Almost there. Not quite. Right. Pretty close, I think. What else you got? The clouds are uh, moving easterly west. Up. Have you used your compass at all yet? Or your hard map? I have used my compass on my hard map. Are you lying to the it. camera? I used it. <laughs> like the clouds. Damn. Use my map to figure out the trail, the compass to figure out the direction, obviously. So you heard it here first, bring a hard map and a compass. It's worth it. Or just charge your phone. He's being serious. <laughs> He's being serious. I am being serious. No, no, I'm just kidding. What day is it today? Saturday. Yay. We'll be carrying down that can, Harry. Can, can. You look like an old man hobbling. <laughs> <laughs> 